Hey guys, it's Abdul. Today I'll be showing you how to take out the speedometer cluster on a Voxel Corsa 2008 and I'll show you how to find the EEPROM and how to fit it all back into the car. First thing you need to do is take off the front plate for the speedometer. Uh, usually you just, you just have to knock it up slightly, otherwise if it's been opened up before just pull it up. Once you take that off you'll, th you'll see three screws, uh, the Torx 20. Uh, one on the top center, one on the bottom right, and one on the bottom left. Once you've taken those off, the speedometer just pulls out and there's a clip behind it. Just press in and move the little tab backwards and the whole clip comes off. Once you've got that out, there's little clips uh, for the front plate of the speedometer, uh, one in each corner. Uh, just press those in and the front plate of that will pop out. And that's another cut. Okay, once you've taken that off, uh, you need to take the needles off for the revs, the speed and the fuel. Um, this is a little special tool that we use as a spoon. It's really helpful for us. Uh, it gets right underneath the needles and it makes it a lot easier to take them off. You don't want to damage the motor for them. So just prise it up slightly and they do just pop out. Once you've done that, take off the black film that has all the digits on it for the speedometer. Uh, it's just glued in, so just carefully peel it off. Once you've taken the whole thing off, just rotate it around the trip reset button so that it's out of the way. Once that's done, you'll see the screws that are holding it to the board underneath. There's six screws in total. For that you need a T10 Torx bit and just take them out, there's two, there's one in each corner. And one on either side of the screen. There's small white clips on each side of the speedometer as well that are holding the board onto it. So just prise those out and the rest of the board should just come off. Small amount of force to pull it off from the white trim.
after you've taken that off just face the speedometer straight towards you and the chip is located on the left hand side of where the screen would usually fit the chip number starts with either 080 or 35080 you need to make sure you find the right chip and not to take the wrong one off uh, this chip contains the mileage and the immobilizer data for the Corsa D. In the future I'll upload another video showing you how to remove the EEPROM from the PCB so that you can read and edit the data however you want to and then write it back onto the EEPROM and also how to put the chip back onto the board and solder it and make sure everything's working so that the connections are all intact and the car's immobilizer is being read properly. Once you've taken it off, uh, you can read it using whichever programmer you have. The most common used programmers are UPA USB programmer and XG Pro Plus. Uh, these ones are really user friendly and uh, quite easy to get the job done. One thing to make sure here is you make sure you put the two screws around the screen back on properly and make sure they're not even loose. Uh, that's because if you miss them or if they're loose the screen won't be fully touching, the connections aren't going to be clean and that will cause the digits on the display when you started the card that they'll be distorted and not clear. After that rotate the black plate back on and press down all around it to make sure it's all clean. After that, when you're putting the needles on, you need to make sure you leave a small gap between the needle and the plate. This is to make sure that there's smooth movement for the needle. Uh, if you press it down too hard, uh, there will be no space for it to move and it'll get stuck. So if you start the car, the uh, revs per minute needle wouldn't be moving. Once the needles are done, you can fit the front plate back on. Make sure you get the trip reset button through the hole correct and just press all the clips into place. Once that's done, the speedometer is ready and you can fit it back into the car. Um, another thing to make sure is while you're fitting it on this, the clip only goes on one way. Um, make sure the clip is down in open position before you fit it and as soon as you fit it, the, you'll hear a small click then just put it back into place put the three screws that go on one on the top two on the sides screw them in Once you've screwed it all in, there's a couple of clips that go for the fascia for the speedometer. Make sure you put them all in the right place and it should just push in.
once you've done that you've completely fitted it back you can insert the key put the ignition on and start the car make sure everything's working the display is showing all of the digits completely without any distortion and the needles are moving really smoothly thank you for watching if you liked what you just saw and if you'd want to see more content please like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on our new content make sure you hit the bell icon so that you can see other videos such as how to program the EEPROM for this car and how to take out more clusters and program other cars as well.